indigotarot.club. Hi Aries, this is Petra at indigotarot.club and I'm going to do a reading for you today for December 2017 to look into love, money, work, unexpected, overall advice, and additional messages. I've already shuffled and cut my cards, so I'm ready to get started. So for love, Aries, I have the Hierophant, the Knight of Rods, and the Hermit. It feels like some of you are desperate to move out of your parents' house or out of someone's house that is, does not belong to you. And you're so desperate. Some of you may move in to your boyfriend's house or you may elope with your boyfriend and then live at his parents' house or his house sometime in December or January. Either way, it feels like you want to get away from the house you're living in. Your parents or whoever it is that owns that house does not want you to leave, but they cannot really hold you back because you're not, um, because you're, you're over 18. Okay. And it feels like you're running towards or going towards the idea of living with someone that you love and care about or getting married to someone and then moving in with them somewhere. Okay. Now for money, I have the four of pentacles, the seven of wands and justice. Uh, it feels like for some of you, you need to be re real careful on the road in December because you may get a traffic ticket or traffic tickets in December if you're speeding. Okay. Um, or if, if you don't make a full stop at a stop sign or if you run a red light and for some of you you are going to get these this ticket or these tickets in December and you're going to have to pay out money that you cannot really afford to pay on these tickets um, some of you you're saving up the money for something else but now you're going to have to give some of it up to pay for the ticket or tickets so please be very careful if you like to speed or if you don't stop um, fully at a stop sign please try your best to do that in December so that you will not get pulled over okay for work I have the Quill of Fortune the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands for some of you you are going to be lucky in gambling in December you are going to win some money and you're going to be very happy because you came out ahead. For others of you, you're going to expect, get to spend time with some old friend or old friends or girlfriends. You're going to get to go out with them in December. And some of you are going to be going to a casino. For some of you, there is a male, a younger male, could be very physical, physically fit, very passionate and energetic, who's going to be show interest in you at the casino. For others of you, this person is going to show interest in you at a club or bar, maybe a jazz bar. And it looks like you're going to be surprised, but it looks like you are going to allow this person to communicate with you at that location and probably exchange numbers with them in the future. You do think they're very handsome and you really like their body shape and that they're very fit, they take care of themselves. This person could be some kind of a physical, like a trainer or a coach or some kind of athlete or something. For unexpected, I have the Nine of Rods, the Page of Cups, and the Magician. I feel like I'm speaking to a woman that is 50 or older and is divorced and some of the parties that you go to in December, you're going to be surprised because there's going to be one or two males showing interest in you, um, sparking conversation with you. And some of you are going to feel like maybe it's just the alcohol talking for this person. So you're going to be keeping an eye on how much they drink at this party. For others of you, 
you're going to be defensive. So you're going to speak to these guys, but you're not going to want to exchange phone numbers. And so you're going to leave the party without having given your phone number or taken any phone number down. And then later on, you may regret that. You're going to be very defensive because of what you've gone through in the past. And that's going to kind of make you feel like you can't trust these guys. But it's, it's at some party and they're just trying to make conversation with you. So if you want to try to make, you know, make some new friends, then you may want to exchange phone numbers if they just, you know, if they bring that up. For overall advice, I have the Six of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Some of you are going to be hooking up with someone that you've known in the past or that you've dated in the past. And it feels like you're going to rekindle this relationship with them in December. It feels like you're going to be communicating with them heavily between December and June of 2018. So it looks very favorable if you're, um, someone from your past pops up in December and I can see you all going out to, to uh, eat like outdoors or picnic or something and um, spending a lot of time together and it being very favorable for both of you. Both of you are very happy, happy that you found each other again and that you're um, being able to communicate again. Okay, Aries, for additional messages, I have the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. I'm hearing Cinderella, and I'm feeling like some of you are going to want to go to a party, but you have some responsibilities at home that you just cannot put aside. And so you're going to miss out on at least one party in December because you're going to have to do some kind of cleanup at your house. For some of you, it feels like you have some kind of uh, daycare at your house and there's a lot of cleanup that has to be done over the weekend. And so even though your friends really want you to go, you're going to say no because you have to do this heavy duty cleanup on the weekends when the kids are not there, when the children are not there. Okay. So let me pull two more cards for this. Okay. I had the four of cups and the six of swords. Some of you, um, some of you are going to say no. A few of you are going to say yes, but for those of you that say yes, it's only going to be because you're asking some friends to help you clean up do this cleanup over the weekend before the children come back on Monday. Okay. You look, uh, very happy going to this event. So it feels like this is advice for you that if at all possible, if you can, uh, get someone to help you go to that party because you don't even know what you're going to find there, especially if you're looking to have a mate. Um, that's a perfect opportunity for you to go and find someone to start a friendship with. Okay, Aries. I hope these messages helped you. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm going to be recording a video for you for 2018. Keep your eyes open for that. And I have three giveaways going on right now at my website. All you have to do is go to my website and click on the enter here tab for more details. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Petra at indigotarot.club. Enter for a chance to win a free reading now. Indigo Club.